Are you a vampire? Dice giggled harder than ever. No, <laughs> I'm a biker. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid and I am back for more worms, for more dice, for more eggplants, for more loveless biker boys. So I still need to find out a way to date uh, dice to get the bad ending with Varai. And I'm back to see if I can get any more endings or maybe a date with Padar or Dice. So let's see who we've got this time. Ah! Uh, we got Varai again. Oh wait, that means I have to hurt him. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on a second. What? What was that? Oh no, I don't want to hurt him. A word of warning, if you haven't seen my previous videos, this game is a bit, uh, it's not, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I was not prepared for some of the things that happened in this game. Nothing too explicit, just things that might churn your stomach a little bit. And with our good friend Varai, he's a, he's a fan of worms, parasitic worms. There will be some of those, a lot of those, a, an egregious amount of those. Okay, so Varai just finished telling his story about how Dice basically assaulted him with his tongue and his eye. And I'd say, uh, I, I don't really like that story. I don't really like it. No, mm. you know, I'm not sure that I like it. You've barely told me anything, but Varai shuddered slightly and fell silent. He didn't seem very happy about what you said. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you didn't plan on upsetting him, did you? But will you tell me the whole story? I I'm sorry. Don't be. Listen, you wanted to tell me a story so I could help you later, right? Right. So just continue. I'm sure I'll enjoy your story. Varai listened to your words. Yeah, I think you're... You're right. I'll keep telling you, and then you'll probably like it. It seems to have encouraged him, and he looks more confident. Let's continue, Espoir. I stopped at the part that Dice took me by the hair when he came up to me. Am I right, Espoir? Yeah, I remember that. I don't really like it when Dice does that. You think now you can make a choice. Make a bad choice. But, but, but why do I have a feeling that Padar is saying that? You know you want to do that. Shut up, Padar! Padar! Shut up! Fine. Refuse to help him. Hey, you know what? The silence ended abruptly. Y yes, Espoir? He smiles kindly, looking at you. He doesn't even suspect that you're not going to help him after hearing his story. Oh, Espoir? His voice trails off. You started thinking about how to tell him about it. Look, sweetheart, honey, you're asking me to lick your eye, and there's worms involved, and my tongue, and you know, I just don't feel comfortable with that. Why do I have a feeling that it's not going to go that smoothly? He's not going to get upset, is he? Is he going to kill me? Is he going to attack me? You didn't want to upset him too much. He shared personal information with you to some extent. You mumbled something and turned your head away from him. What? Espoir, please, answer me. Please don't kill me, Varai. Please don't kill me. Please. You weren't ready to answer yet. You looked at him again, only to see him staring back at you. Oh, look at this puppy dog face. Oh, honey. Tell me honestly, did you not like it? I won't be offended with you, if you help. Just tell me what you think. I don't want to drag the answer out of you. You think it's better to tell him your thoughts in the soft tone. You sigh heavily. Okay, well, you know what I think? I didn't like that. You, you gotta set boundaries. You gotta say when you don't like something. You gotta, you just, you can't 
go on with something. You can't say yes to something you want to say no to, because then you will really regret it. And you might end up with your tongue on somebody's eyeball. <sighs> That's fine. I think I'm just a bad storyteller. Your story is weird, Varai. I know, it's unusual. Unusual for ordinary people and for an ordinary person like you. Mm. You just had to know that. I mean, the story, not that you were ordinary. Varai hesitated, and the pause dragged on. Never mind. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you going to help me? You're still going to help me, despite this, aren't you? Well, about that... I'm not going to help you, Varai. Uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead now and Varai's gonna kill me. Oh. He was numb for a moment and was not even able to utter a single word. What? It was the only word Varai could find. D did you not hear me? Uh-oh. Are you serious? Didn't we have a deal or something? Did we? Did we? There can be no question of any deal. I don't want to help anymore. Did I? Did I make a deal? I think I did. Did you just want me to satisfy you? He looks like he's about to cry. Oh no! Um, not really. What do you mean, not really? You yourself offered to help me. And I told you how you could do this without having medical equipment. And yes, it makes me feel so good. Is that bad? We could have a little fun and become good friends. I don't think we would have had any fun. Well, at least I wouldn't have. But you just refuse me. I didn't think I would have to help you like this. I kind of guessed it, but I didn't really think that it turned you on till now. You can't do this to me. I'm so sorry. Oh no! A Daisy! Daisy, help! Daisy, help! I've made him mad. Daisy! Daisy, help! Why did you leave me? Varai's gonna get me, Daisy. He's gonna get me. You're upsetting me. Oh, Varai yelled, starting to sob. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, sweet baby worm boy, no, no. Hey. <laughs> Let's just forget it, okay? Don't be sad. He began to cry and rubbed his eyes, after which they became even more red. Oh, don't do that. Oh. I was hoping you could help me. That you care. I'll try to find another way to help you, okay? Varai sniffs and whines. M maybe you'll change your mind? Come on, no, 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 no. I'm putting my foot down. I'm setting boundaries. No. No, baby. No. No, Varai. Will you lick my eye? At least with the tip of your tongue? No. Please? No. <coughs> Varai quietly sobs, and he keeps whining. Why are you so stubborn, Varai? Do just... <coughs> oh, he's probably like primal screaming. A scream that I cannot replicate because I have neighbors. Varai screamed horribly, just like a baby. Saying that it scared you is to say nothing. It was scarily loud. But the noise didn't end there. You didn't have time to properly digest what happened when angry Dice burst into the garage. Oh dear. Dice pushed Varai to the other side so hard that he almost fell. What? Wait, what? Did he push the boy? Don't push the boy! Ugh! Stand aside. Ah, uh, I think he heard us. What did you do to Varai, you flippin' imbecile? I made him cry. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I, I made him cry, but I was setting boundaries. Dice approached you and Varai, holding a gilded, not very long, but thin sword in front of him. Is that a rapier? He's got a flippin' rapier? What kind of edge lord? It looked sharp enough to pierce through both of us. His pupils narrowed. You are in extreme anxiety from fright, from impending or expected danger. It seems that Varai feels the same way. Wait, boss, the newbie didn't do anything wrong. I told you not to lie to me. Dice elbowed Varai sharply right in the stomach, and he almost choked on his own saliva. Oh, see, I just made him cry, but now you're assaulting him again, sir. Varai doubled over, letting out a soft groan. Oh, my tummy. Dice leaned over and took him by the hair, starting to pull it hard. No. Ouch! Boss, please, hold on. You were right. I was upset. The newbie upset me. I'm not lying. How did this jerk upset you? This, um, hurt me. I see. Dice pulled Varai's hair even harder and turned his head to you. Is he going to force me to lick his eye? No! He's smiling. Dice's rapier is literally a few centimeters from Varai's face, but at the same time, he points it at you. Do you have anything to say, idiot? Uh. Don't you hurt that boy. Don't you hurt him. You didn't really want to be snarky in response to him, and even more so to answer. He's going to kick your butt anyway. So it's better to be a good biker boy. Have you got a dry throat or something? You wouldn't say that Varai is weaker than you. He probably lacks the courage to also take you by the hair and dip you into the toilet, for example. Or maybe you're just a fake guy running errands from another gang of our rivals. It seems to me that he only got angrier. But you have no idea what Dice is talking about. That gang has already done a nice job having fun with Farai, who was kidnapped before. Um, Dice? Shut up! You see, Espoir, only I have the right to hurt him. You better leave that boy alone, sir, you better leave that boy alone! Me, the boss. You're not even a biker. Hmm. Yeah, I know. This is all fine, of course, but I have nothing to do with this gang. Dice grinned. Look who's talking. Well, did you strain your vocal cords? Let's see if you are really as protected as those bikers. Wait, what are you- Ouch! Dice quickly plunged his rapier into your stomach before letting go of the errand boy's hair. Do what you will with me, but you leave Varai alone! It was so sudden, you didn't even have time to react. At first, nothing was felt, but after a few seconds, everything began to burn. Flipty doodle Gee willikers, this sure is awfully painful. Golly, this smarts! You began to feel moisture trickling down your arm. The rapier plunged deep. You gasped and shuddered, and you immediately clutched your stomach with trembling hands. Huh, are you really not from another gang? Huh, that's so boring. You were trying to catch your breath while Dice was standing with the rapier stuck in you. Hold the rapier with your own hands, lol. We'll fix you up if you haven't damaged your intestines. You don't really care what he's saying. Your breathing became frantic and your vision gradually began to darken. You just barely held onto the rapier, not trying to pull it out, but trying not to shove it deeper. Is the newbie gonna be okay? Nah, the newbie is gonna be fine, don't worry. I hope. So... Dice, what are you doing here? I mean, weren't you supposed to be busy? You needed outside control. I was afraid you'd screw up. But it doesn't matter now, we'll talk about it later. Did you hear what we were talking about from the beginning to the end? Not really. 
I was dozing off, but I woke up at your screeching. Oh. G guys! I'm passing out! Espoir! Uh, eh, what? Padar. <laughs> Neutral ending. You need a colostomy bag. Ouch. So, there's also a special ending I can get if I name myself... Gary. H hey, Gary. Gary. It seems to me, you're special. You're a special newbie. Mm -mm. He's peering closer at you with his sick pink eyes. Why do you think so? I'll tell you. Your name is just like my favorite worm. The one you saw earlier. I want to give you something. Something really special to me. Just like you seem special to me. Wait here. I'll be right back. He walked away, stood over the shelves, and picked up his jar with the worm named Gary. You should know how excited I am right now. He reached out to you, holding... Why is, th why is that music playing? He reached out to you, holding the jar in front of you. Vrai was panting softly. It's you! He put the finger in the jar, and the worm wound itself around it. Vrai... Vrai, calm down, sweetie, calm down! Calm down now! It was all wet. Something was dripping from it, and you can only guess what or why. Although, perhaps it was his saliva, since he drooled so much. Is that... me? Yeah, I named him like that. And... what should I do with this? I want you... I want you to accept it. Accept? Whatever do you mean? I mean... Just, I put, I put my, my hand on Gary's shoulder. Nice knowing you, Gary. It's a good thing you're doing this and not me. <laughs> I mean, I want you to eat it. Is, is he really not in his right mind at all? <laughs> you're not sure you want to eat it. These squiggly creatures can be eaten raw. I grew it in myself. What are you going to do? I'm going to politely refuse it at the moment. You think you're not really hungry. You decide to politely refuse him. I don't want to eat this. Sorry. It's a parasite. I don't need worms. Oh, it's okay. Varai put the worm in your hands. It's so slimy and wriggles in your hands. It's yours now. Thank you! The worm slowly wraps around all your fingers. Varai was just watching. He's really enjoying it a lot. He's yours now. Now we're all friends. Together. Welcome to the gang. <laughs> Good ending. You've accepted Gary. Gee, thanks. Well, guess I better go put that worm in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I agree. You do? Oh, that's so- Give me the worm. Just get, 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 give me, give it, give it. Just let's get this over with. Okay, okay. He held out his hand to you. You hesitantly give him yours as he gave you the worm. So slimy. Gary was crawling from hand to hand like it was trying to escape. Be gentle. You don't really know what to do with it. It's probably best to eat it like spaghetti! Alright, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. I'm not wasting it here. How does it feel, Gary? You looked at him, questioning, questioning, questioning my life choices. Oh man, uh, I have no idea. He's a part of you now. My heart is filled with warmth, pride, and childish joy. Now you are my best friend.
I don't know what tier list or iceberg that that experience is going to go under, but it's gonna be at the very top. Padar, this is all your fault! Okay, so there's another special named ending with Jeff, if you name yourself Duke. So let's let's do that. The uh the walkthrough just said question mark, question mark, question mark, enjoy. So I don't know what kind of warning I'm gonna have to put up for this one, but I don't think it's gonna be very pretty. What? Really? Congrats! You'll stay with me. Oh, that's cool. You're lucky. Why'd the music change like that? Uh. It's better to stay with me than with other bikers. I can tell you about the facts. I really know everything about the team, believe me. Although, the other bikers in the gang don't take them seriously. Fools. They don't understand how important it is. Everyone needs to at least know something about them, and so do you. But I can't tell you everything in one day, even if I'd like to. So you can ask me anything you want. But first, um, before we start, I'll tell you the basic information. Okay. Don't interrupt me. Okay, so the randomness saved me, and I didn't get a, a Jeff, and instead I got dice. Okay. But I haven't said anything yet. I mean, don't interrupt me when I'm telling you. We run illegal races. Officially illegal, but in fact, no one cares. I think that anyone has been a spectator of racers at least once, even a representative of the authorities. But what is so bad about these races that they're considered illegal? Yeah. That's a good question. Firstly, any biker who participates in races outside the arena and receives money for it is an illegal racer. I'm not really sure why. Secondly, it's quite a gambling race in most cases, both for spectators and for bikers. But this is our bread and butter. We can even put a bet on each other and earn a profit. You could say that it's because of the betting that our races are illegal. But the problem is that the situation in the arena is literally the same. Only, there are no biker teams in the arena. Every man for himself. I've always considered bikers from the arena to be posers. They don't have any spectacle. You can't run over anyone with a bike or beat them up. By the way, this can be part of our show during the races. Sometimes it has more bets, which is good. Some arrange this on purpose, and as for me, it's not very cool. Even for a beating, there must be a reason. Ugh. Oh, everything is so serious. Have there ever been cases where someone was detained for participating in races? I think there was a couple of times. It won't affect us. So, if you're very worried about your safety, then know that you won't be touched. You can only be touched by other bikers. But you can stand up for yourself, right? Am I right? This is a bit of a strange question. Can you stand up for yourself? Probably, yes. But you don't think you could protect yourself from him. Yeah. Yeah, I think I- yeah. Of course I can. I'm not weak, and I can even hit someone. Yeah. In self-defense. You tried to answer as confidently as possible to sound convincing. Oh yeah? You really are, you say. Don't make that face, sir. Don't make that face, we're gonna have some trouble. Dice was very satisfied with this answer, was he? He'll remember it for you. Eh. Y yeah Well, I'm very glad. I won't have to worry about you. Oh, um, okay. I think I can handle it, I suppose. Of course, you'll do fine, Duke. It seems Dice caught you lying. Oh no! You can't protect yourself much. I think this short an excursion to the topic of facts and biker things is enough for you now. You have any questions? I asked you one question, so I guess it's your turn now. Don't worry about asking questions. I won't bite. Probably. Hmm, let me think. What's what's going on with you, da dude? What's going on with you? I want to know about you. <laughs> Why, so? Dice replied, trying not to laugh. I'm most interested in you. You can talk about yourself and at the same time about the facts or something. 
Are you so curious about me? Aw, cute. Dice was touched by these words, but after just a second, he got angry. What? We're not on a date, Duke. Well, yeah. I don't answer questions like, can you tell me about yourself? Or, what's your favorite color? What is your favorite color? I think it might be purple. Or red. Probably red. I'm guessing red. Don't ask me such questions to spite me. Hmm. Okay. I'll answer one so that you'll finally shut up. My favorite color is gold. Ah, yes. Man of culture. Gold looks very cool with black or red. Cool. It seems like I knew this from the very beginning. Thanks for the answer anyway. You didn't have to answer. I was just joking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get stabbed with a rapier again, aren't I? Ugh. You're welcome, butthole. Also, about gold. Your teeth. What's wrong with them, huh? Oh, nothing. I mean, I would like to take a closer look at them. Don't say that! Don't say that, espoir slash duke. Huh? Fine. Meh. Gorgeous. He smiled, broadly, showing his shiny gold teeth in all their glory. He lowered his head to you so that you could see everything better. Strings of drool clung to his fingers. His teeth looked like they were his natural teeth. So, you like them? Or is it more like, Ha! Sure. You like them? I think they're cool. I think they're pretty cool. They're cool, no doubt. I really like how shiny they are. Huh, I know that they're beautiful. Thanks for the compliment, though, Duke. But we have to get back to the topic of our conversation. I'd rather tell you about how I started the gang or something. Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Okay. It would be so interesting to know. Yeah, it's certainly more interesting than typical dating questions. Hmm. I always wanted to have my own gang since my father was a biker. But I didn't want to be in the same gang with him. He wasn't even the leader. I thought that he had his own gang. I was very upset to find out that he was just an ordinary biker. So when I turned 18, I decided to create a gang together with my friend, Jeff. Dice stopped and glanced at you. He started staring at you without saying anything. It's like he's boring you with his gaze. Well, why, why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. What? Is there something on my face? Uh, no. I'm done talking. That's all. Is that really all? Huh? Isn't that enough for you? I don't mind telling you more if you misunderstand something. Or just wondering. So, do you need more information? Hmm. Eh, you can keep, you can keep going. I'd love to know more, actually. <laughs> I think I'd like to know more. You don't mind telling me more, do you? Of course I don't. I'm all for telling more. I like your thirst for knowledge. Well, you asked about... me. Hmm, what kind of details can I tell you? Features of creation? Gangs? Hmm, right. Well, it wasn't as difficult for me to create as it was to find people for my gang. You've got... you've got a sick... a uh, sick older man who's got worm parasites. You've got a really older man who's just cranky. You've got you and your best friend, and then you've got some deadbeat that a robot brought here. And we don't know what Padar is doing. In fact, any biker with leadership qualities can create a gang. But not everyone takes on such a big responsibility. I was able to handle it. I'm not very happy with the fact that only Jeff was a biker in my gang from the very beginning. But others quickly learned to ride, so I can't complain. Fun fact, but even a non-biker can create a gang. <laughs> For example, a gang of our rivals has a boss and... He is very far from the races. He doesn't even participate in them. Then, what is this boss doing? I have no idea. Probably distributes the money between gang members or whatever. Will you tell me about how you met other gang members? Maybe later, but it's not super interesting. 
It was an accident. They were doing their business. I liked something about them, and I invited them, blah blah blah. The first in my gang after me was Jeff. The last, Varai. Varai, or the worm lover. There's no more to tell. Too bad. I would have listened. Duke, uh, one more thing. Huh? The most important thing when creating a gang is to come up with a name and your own special symbol. I still don't really like our gang name. It seems like it was created by an edgy teenager. What's the name of the gang? Don't laugh at me. The name is Loveless Biker Boys. Well, I think that's a good name for a gang. That's a very good name for a gang. Yeah, I don't. But okay, whatever. Our special sign is a broken heart. This is a small decoration of our costumes. Does it have any meaning? Like, does that mean you've had a love failure or something? Love? Ugh, are you kidding? I don't love anyone. This is a modified symbol of a gang that I liked when I was still a teenager. But the gang fell apart, so I decided that our gang would have a similar symbol. They had a double heart symbol. Hmm. I think I told you everything I could for now. I'm even a little bit tired. I think I'll do another little quiz for you. What? Quiz? Another survey? Enough time has passed since the last one. I'll ask you four easy questions. What questions? Uh-oh. Questions about the facts or something similar. This is my test of how well you've listened to me, if you listen at all. If you asked only about one topic, and there's another one in the questions, then that is not my problem, okay? Let's see if you can guess. Not really fair. Let's begin. First question. What is the name of our gang? Uh. Oh, snap! I gotta write it. Duh. Right. Who was the biker after Jeff? Oh, that would be Jete, because Verai was last. Yeah, right. What are spikes used for? Crap. Uh... Uh... They could be everything? Right. Yeah! <laughs> the last question. Who are the legals? Uh, posers? <laughs> You're darn right. <laughs> Great. You didn't even screw up. Congratulations. You're just lucky. Ah, kind of. You know, man, I like you. But I don't like you enough. Aw. I can't accept you into the gang yet. Aww. But I can't just let you go, because I might change my mind. I need to leave a distinctive mark on you so that I can come back to you later. What, what do you mean by that, sir? What do you mean by that, sir? What do you mean by that, sir? What? what? Something like a small wound. I don't think I like that idea. I don't. I don't, sir. Don't worry. It won't hurt. Much. Is it really necessary? I mean, you can remember what I look like. I don't think I'll remember. I, I kind of believe him on that. I don't think he'd remember. I'll be very busy, and I won't be able to remember. P promise me you won't hurt me too much. <laughs> I promise. This still seems like a dubious idea. W where are you going to bite? Dice chuckled. Heh. <laughs> Neck. What? Your pupils dilated and fear distorted your face. Looking at you, he started laughing. <laughs> God, what are you so afraid of? You're such a flippin' coward. Are you... A vampire? Dice giggled harder than ever. No, <laughs> I'm a biker. Why the neck? Why not a hand? I don't look at other people's hands because most of the people around me wear gloves. I'll immediately see a bite on your neck. But what if someone sees it? Trust me, no one here cares about that. Come on, stop stalling. It'll be like a friendly bite. Fine, just do it already. 
Dice grabbed you with his hands from behind and approached your neck. He was breathing down your neck, and it was a little awkward for you. The next thing you feel when he touches you is those lips, dry but soft. I really feel like the main character of a vampire novel. Silence. I feel the warmth and pulsation of the artery without even visibly inspecting the area. His fangs found your flesh and immediately sank into it. He bit through your soft skin very hard, not like a friendly bite at all. Owie! You've already begun to suspect that something is wrong. It feels terrifying and painful. You're sweating with pain, feeling like Dice is chewing on your neck. Uh, Carol? Are you done? Carol! It hurts. Dice hugged you even tighter, and you couldn't move. You were paralyzed. Later, Carol stopped doing anything. Uh... Uh... Then, he removed his fangs from your neck with a piece of your flesh. Each cheese guy! Owie! He, he bit a chunk of your neck. You did not have to do that. You knew you did not have to do that. Rude! I'm gonna- I, I need that. Ah! You screamed in pain, unable to think of anything better. Your throat was torn from screaming. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Maybe I got carried away. Heh. <laughs> he dropped you to the ground. You could only think about the pain spreading through your body, starting from the neck. You clutched at your shoulder, feeling the warmth of your flowing blood. You were trembling and breathing raggedly, looking at Dice. How dare you, sir? <laughs> wow, Duke. You really did well. You're still conscious. By the way, it tastes pretty good. You want to try? No, I think I'm good. Without waiting for an answer, Carol shoved a strip of your own meat into your mouth. <sighs> you immediately spat it out. Huh, that's sad. You didn't like it. You feel dizzy. Your vision was dissolving into darkness. Good night, Duke. Why? Dice's voice was heard from afar, accompanied by the sound of his boots. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Rude. <laughs> Neutral ending. Yummy. Yummy.